Hi today from Hawaii, from the paradise-like island of Kauai, uh, called uh, the Garden Island. Today I will tell you about dreams, about uh, your dreams of your childhood, about nurturing your dreams and about uh, making them happen. So stay with me till the end of this video. There will be a contest and something to win. The dreams. Everybody of us have dreams in their childhood, but with time many of us lose their dreams, they become grounded, they become realistic and they stop pursuing their dreams. Maybe they listen to naysayers who discourage them from following uh, the dreams, they ridicule them and people give up on their dreams or let's say uh, become realistic and become limited in their lives. And I want to tell you two stories today about um, one personal story of me and one billionaire story uh, to uh, make my point. So let's start with uh, Lars Windhorst. La Lars Windhorst is a, a billionaire friend of mine. He's a German, uh, born German. He lives in London and has a um, investment company Sapinda with around five billion dollars under management and they invest in energy, they invest in agriculture and also provide some financial deals for example uh, for airlines. And there was this event in the childhood of Lars when um, uh, in a kindergarten uh, kids were uh, drawing the world, they were drawing trees, maybe flowers and you know mom and dad and the house, right? So uh, at that time, Lars Windhorst, he was drawing container ships with, uh, with inscription uh, Windhorst containers, or he was drawing um, factories and he was drawing uh, skyscrapers, for example, with an inscription um, Windhorst Tower. So he was dreaming of the big industry of big things of uh, big real estate he was always dreaming of doing big things in business and of course he was ridiculed by his friends maybe even by his teachers for being so unrealistic and uh, for being uh, so outrageously ambitious uh, but uh, what happened is he really does it right now he invests in uh, heavy industry in uh, like highly capital intensive industries, mining, energy, construction, and uh, all of that became true. He even at 18 years old was involved in building the Windhouse Tower. So the tower for, from his childhood dreams in Ho Chi Minh City, in, uh, in Saigon, in uh, the capital of Vietnam. He was about to build a 55 level skyscraper, uh, but unfortunately he failed in, uh, in that project because he wasn't able to organize financing of that uh, project and the uh, Asian uh, real estate crisis struck. But he was trying to do that and today he uh, is involved in uh, the big industry, in the uh, big finance, his childhood dreams became true. He never uh, let people discourage himself from dreaming these dreams and doing stuff to achieve these things. And Lars is one of the most ambitious, most hardworking and also most, most outrageously bold people in business I know today. One of my favorite billionaire friends, uh, Lars, if you're watching this, uh, I, greetings to you. And I want uh, to tell you now some of my stories because uh, for me in my childhood 
I was dreaming to study in the United States. I was born in East Bloc country that was isolated at that time. Uh, I was born in Poland and it was outrageous to dream at that time to study in, uh, in the States because nobody was traveling, nobody was allowed to travel and uh, you couldn't actually uh, go, just go to, to the States and study there. Uh, not mentioning the financial aspect of that uh, to, to pay for your for your university and so on and so on and uh, i remember in uh, 1997 i finally went for a student exchange to the states like all, it's almost 20 years ago right uh, i went for for a student exchange and was studying at an american university on the west coast and uh, my mother told an uncle who was a little bit uh, jealous about that and he said something yeah he's gonna go to Honolulu which meant uh, in Polish or at that at that time you know in Europe it means something like unrealistic some something uh, unexistent or something unreal Honolulu right it was an ironical statement and guess what? I went to, to the States I, and I remember uh, taking uh, the uh, spring break and going to Hawaii. So that's why I'm telling you this story here from Hawaii. I'm here now on, the, uh, on another island, Kauai. Uh, but the first time I, I came to Hawaii was 20 years ago. And uh, it was on Oahu, the most populated island with the capital of Hawaii, which is Honolulu. So you see the uh, irony. He was like uh, joking about me studying in the States, like he, he's going to go to, uh, to Honolulu, meaning it's a fairy tale. It's uh, unreal. It's not true. And then I went actually to Honolulu in my spring break. And I remember sending him a postcard and it was kind of fulfilling to send him this postcard and to show him that in life much more is possible that you may dream of or that you may assume. So for him Honolulu was a completely unrealistic goal to go there. It was somewhere in the end of the, of the world, something le legendary that nobody was to or nobody had seen from the perspective of Eastern Bloc. But I went there and I sent him a postcard, so I showed it to him that it was in reality possible and it wasn't a joke at all. Uh, it, uh, it was kind of an irony of fate that I was able to turn his joke into a real event. It's a, just a small um, illustration that you should dream and the bigger your dreams, the better. And in, uh, in today's world, much more is possible than even 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago. And people achieved great things in history. And today you have even greater ch chance of achieving uh, wonderful things. You see, it's, uh, it's raining a little. Uh, it's like always every couple of hours, uh, five, um, uh, five minutes, 10 minutes of, of rain. Behind me, by the way, it's, uh, you know, foggy, but there are uh, some mountains on this Kauai island and these mount mountains are one of the most um, humid of the wettest um, spots on the planet. So they had a, a record rainfall in April this year, uh, the, the record in the history of the United States in just one day in 24 hours uh, 50 inches of uh, rain fell 50 inches in 24 hours it is like you would need for that uh, two years in LA for example for that rainfall two years in LA here 24 hours uh, in, in these mountains behind me so really wet place a paradise island here uh, the uh, vegetation is amazing and also the animal world, right? Uh, the birds uh, and the little lizards, uh, wonderful. 
and you can see Hanalei uh, Bay behind me, uh, also uh, paradise um, beach in uh, on Hawaii. So I want to encourage you to dream big, to have big dreams. Never let naysayers discourage you from dreaming these uh, dreams for taking effort uh, to realize the, these dreams. And uh, I want to invite you to really do something about uh, reaching your dreams. I want also to invite you to leave a comment to tell me what are your big dreams. What is your big dream that you have been dreaming uh, since your childhood? What are maybe the uh, things you had to endure? Maybe the ridicule you had to endure from others? Maybe some statements others said about what you dream about, what you want to achieve in your life? And maybe also what you did already to achieve these dreams, to go after these dreams. So share uh, your perspective, share your opinions, share your experiences. If you like this video give me a thumb up subscribe below don't forget to hit the bell button i talk here a lot about um, doing the impossible about uh, achieving doing great things about how the most successful entrepreneurs in the world uh, think and act how the billionaires how the self-made billionaires in our uh, world think and act I talk also about my investments in cryptocurrencies. So um, share this video with your loved ones, with your friends. One day they will thank you for that. And I invite you also to participate in the contest. And the contest is like this. 
share this video on your social media with a hashtag the billion dollar secret hash the billion dollar secret and add your comment to that or maybe a quote from this video and among the best shares the most effective maybe or the most creative i will choose one and the winner will get a copy of the book i have co-authored with brian tracy brian tracy is the best business teacher and the best personal performance trainer in the world the special edition of the book i have uh, co-authored with him looks like that and uh, i will give away one copy of that to the winner of the contest with my personal dedication so it's worth participating i invite you to do that and if you like this video you will certainly like my other videos i invite you uh, to watch them that's it from hawaii i wish you a fantastic day today let's do something extraordinary today